Hi, I'm Kyle uh, from Payable, and today I'm going to show you uh, how to solve a question we get a lot of um, uh, inquiries about, and that is, how do I password protect my form? How can I put a link on my website, but only let certain people who have a password answer uh, or see the details or submit an entry? So we're going to talk about that today, and to do that, I've already created a Google form. If you've never made one, head over to forms.google.com, and it's an amazing tool for you to just kind of drag and drop different questions onto your form. One of the things about a Google form, however, is that it does not have the ability to add a password to block out different sections. So to implement that, what we're actually going to use is validation, field validation. And so kind of hidden inside of Google Forms is uh, their field validation. And it's a really good thing to use because if you get a bunch of people filling out your Google Forms and they are not properly answering the questions they're putting, uh, you know, if, it, if for example, let's go to, I had a question here about age. So this is my super secret music event that I've kind of created and it's gonna have um, your email address, I put the secret event details in another text block. So there's a text block here, which gives you the name and the, the time and the location, the name of your ticket and your ticket type and the add-ons. If you've never seen our payable add-on for Google Forms, we have a really cool add-on that helps you make your, your forms payable. Go to our YouTube channel, check that out. It'll show you how uh, when the user selects these options, we'll automatically take them to a checkout page, uh, capture payment from them, and then mark it as paid inside the attached Google Sheet. We're not going to touch on, on payments too much today, though. We're just going to focus on field validation and making and using that to create a password-protected form. So the name on the ticket is pretty obvious. I've created this be short answer text, but I also want to know if the attendees of my event are over the age of 19, because maybe there's going to be alcohol there. So I'm going to add a new question, and this question is going to be uh, age of attendee. Now, what ends up happening is if you just leave it as short answer and make it required, people will fill it out, but you never know what they're going to put in this box. They might type the word 18 all out like letters. They might type 19 years old with strings behind it. And it becomes difficult when it ends up in your spreadsheet because you're getting a combination of text and numbers and spaces and people do really weird things when they're able to type whatever they want in an input. And so because of that, if you hit this little, the three ellipses over here and you go into response validation. So what you do is you click that button and this lets me add some validation to this. And so I'm gonna say I want this to be a number and I want it to be greater than 19. And the custom error text here would be enter an age, uh, so we can say attendees must be over 19 years old, okay? And so what that does is that'll automatically add form validation. If it's not a number, it has not over 19, um, I guess they need to be over 18. Uh, well, it depends where you are. I guess if you're in the United States, you have to be over, you have to be 21 and up. So let's say greater than 20. We want them to be 21. Okay. And so let's preview our form really quick. And you can see kind of here how this works. So here's my age. And if I end up typing something like this inside it here, I'll go, okay, well, attendees must be over 19. So I can't type that. That didn't work. If I type uh, 19, and it doesn't work because we actually set our form validation to be uh, 21 and up. And I left the label wrong. And so when you do 21, now it's, it's happy and it lets you progress, right? And because it's required, it will not let you progress until it meets your validation. And you can do that same type of validation on any input, uh, on, especially on any of the text inputs. It's a really, really quite handy tool. So let's close that for a second and let's fix this. So to enter our event, we wanted you to be 21 years uh, old at a minimum. So that's a number and you have to be 21 years old. So generally, if you wanted to keep all of the details of this event secret, you didn't want people to know about it, what we can do is use that same text validation higher up in the form and also add a page split so that people can't get to the next part or see the details of the next part until they solve the password or know what to put in. So let's do that. I'm going to go uh, up here to the very top. 
and then I am going to add in a, uh, a new field. So I'm going to add a question. This one is going to be a short answer. And we are going to say, what is the secret passphrase? Okay. And so it's going to let them enter some stuff. And we're going to use the exact same thing. So we're going to go into response validation. Instead of a number, uh, let's make it be a text and make it contain. You know, doesn't contain, is an email address, is a URL. You can see all the really cool things that um, Google Forms is doing for you to help you make sure you're getting good data into your submissions and if you're passing it on into a spreadsheet that it's good. So for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to say contains and the uh, secret passphrase is going to be, um, let's just say the secret passphrase is uh, monkey. M-O-N-K-E-Y, okay? And the custom error text we're gonna put is, sorry, that is not the correct password. Okay, we're gonna make this required. So that's a good step. And then what we're gonna do so all the other questions are hidden is we will actually add here a section. And so what a section does is it splits it off. So it splits it off into section two. So section one, all we have is email because I'm using that as a requirement of, as part of the form, a good one, and then the passphrase. So all you can really see is that without answering these questions successfully, you'll not be able to move around on to the next one. And actually, because the section by default gives you a nice little header, um, let's include the, uh, the, the secret event details inside the section header instead of uh, here in this, and then we can garbage that one. Okay, so really cool. Um, we're gonna make this be required and um, you're gonna have to pick your ticket type. So let's make that required and the add-ons are optional, of course. So with that, let's uh, take a preview of what we got now. Okay, so we got a super secret movie uh, music event. And if somebody had this URL, they'd be able to get to this page. When you hit next, you're not able to continue on until you fill out the required questions of a section. So I'm just gonna say uh, kyle at email.com and I'm gonna guess at what this passphrase is. I really wanna come to the music event, but I, I wasn't cool enough to get an invite. I'm gonna hit next, 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 next. Hmm, I do not know the super secret music event passcode. So it's troubling because I'm not able to get in there. And that's a really cool way of using form validation to kind of stop somebody from continuing on deeper into your form. You might want to do this if you're a contractor and you work with select groups of people. Uh, you might want to change it. It needs to be consistent or you could update it once a month or something like that if you wanted to log in and change it if you do that. Now, I'm going to do a small caveat. This is not a bulletproof piece of security here. If you were to be pretty savvy and inspect the details of the page, you might be able to catch that uh, monkey value in some attri JavaScript attributes on the back end. But for 90% of people out there, you're going to add a perceived layer of security to your form. So let's try it out. I'm going to, I'm, I'm a cool guy now. I know that the password is monkey. I'm going to hit next. Boom. Now I'm on, I can now see the secret event details, where it is, uh, which is really kind of cool. I'm going to put in uh, my info. And my name, uh, am I 18 years old? Nope, got to be at least 21 to get in. Okay, 21. I'm going to get the basic ticket, and I'm going to take the band meet and greet pricey, but I've been working hard lately, so I really want to see this secret event. So really cool way of adding form validation, using form validation in a few different ways to make sure your data is good, and even adding a little bit of a password protection or some fun to your forms. Um, when I hit submit on this form, you can see here the payable add-on. And so what we've done with the payable add-on, if you want to add it onto your forms and connect it to PayPal or Stripe or another processor, I now walk my user right through uh, checkout. So they can click on that link at the end of my um, Google form. They'll be redirected to a secure hosted checkout page by our application, where we will automatically push across what they chose, base ticket plus the band meet and greet, um, we'll host the checkout for them. If you want to go through the checkout process, we, this one is in sandbox mode, so we can kind of use the test card here, 0925. 
and 371. And with that, you've completed a really cool looking, uh, professional looking, uh, fun secret event page uh, for your customers. They fill it out quickly and easily. And you, what we do with the add-on is we automatically update your event details in the super secret uh, event. So if I was to refresh this page and go to my responses, and I go to the attached Google Sheet, you can see that the Google Forms add-on, uh, what they do is they add all of the rows over here from my solution. And then over here, I can see uh, that what the order ID was. So sometimes uh, an event owner would use this as their ticket ID, how much I was charged and whether I paid or not, how I paid, what the transaction ID was and when my payment date was. So super cool, super fun, really easy way to use um, the field validation to make a secret event that you could charge guests to come to. Uh, any questions, uh, put it in the chat down below. I will also include a link to this form uh, as well as to the add-on in the description. So if you scroll down and look at the description, you can try it out. Try out the super secret form for yourself because you guys now know the uh, password to get to the super secret event. And uh, good luck. I, I hope you uh, have some fun uh, Google forming out there. All right. Cheers.